Okay, for the upper body again, we want to try and open up our upper back and improve the movement through our shoulders. So there's two variations for this. I'm showing you two, because you can see I struggle with one of them. So it'll show you a regression. So you're gonna get this, the same benefit without trying to force the movement. I'm dealing with a shoulder issue at the minute. So I struggle with the one against the wall. So I'm gonna do a variation on the floor. So you're just gonna sit with your back, not completely flat, but pretty flat up against the wall. Elbows out to the side, as you can see here, my, my hand can go flat there, no problem. I can't with this one. Okay, I'm dealing with a bit of a shoulder issue on this side. But what you would do there is keeping everything flat on the wall, you're just gonna slide your arms up the wall without shrugging your shoulders and back down. And you should feel your upper back, maybe feel a little bit cramped or, want, or feel like it wants to open up a little bit. And that's great. Because I struggle against the wall, my variation would be on the floor. But I'm in exactly the same position. So I'm flat on the floor as if I'm in a squat position with my legs. I'm going to let gravity take care of my arms. Again, this arm isn't quite there. I'm going to slide up, trying to keep my lower back as flat on the floor as I can. Slide up. Fully extend, pause for a second. Slide down. Slide up. Pause. Slide down. Use your breathing again, breathe in. As you slide out, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. But the idea is to get those arms fully extended and opening up the upper back because it's very easy to kind of get this kind of kyphotic hunch. So we wanted to make sure we can counteract that by opening up the upper back with this movement.